friends. I, today, am going to show you how to make a graduation hat, just like this. It's also called a mortar board. Look how cool it is. You too can make one. Okay, let me show you the materials that we need to gather first. So you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a bowl. I have a kind of thick paper bowl. This is a little bit thinner. This one is a little bit bigger. This is a Dixie. I think I like this one the best. This is a Chinette. They both work great and they should both fit your head pretty well. Okay, you need a bowl and some glue, something to decorate your cap with, and some yarn. And then I, there's a couple different things you can use. I used, this is just construction paper. Um, you can use tag board. You could use an old folder that would work. Um, or the cardboard maybe from a cereal box. And then you'll need a ruler, a pencil, and some scissors. And you'll need some tape or one of these. This is called a brad. Okay, so go grab your materials and then come on back and I'll show you how to put it together. Hi. Okay, you ready? You have all your materials? Okay, the first thing you might wanna do is cut your paper to the right size. I think that nine inches by nine inches is the perfect size. So I'm gonna use this folder. I'm gonna open it up, get my pencil and my ruler and measure it out. So you find the nine on your ruler right there. Boop. Okay, and I'm gonna measure it out. There we go. Okay, so there's the nine. I make a line. And then I'm gonna measure nine inches this way. Find that nine. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a line across. And a line down. Pretty much just gonna cut that tab off. Okay, then I have my square. I'm gonna cut it out. Now, you could decorate this any way you'd like. You could use crayons, pencils, markers. I used paint sticks for this one. So decorate your top and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I'm gonna now show you how to do the tassel. And then once you do the tassel, then we can put everything together. So this is the tassel. You can use yarn, you could also use ribbon, string, whatever you have at home. And it doesn't have to look like this, but if you want it to look like this, I'll show you how to do that. I like to find something like a deck of cards, or you could also use another piece of cardboard. You could use your crayon box, something to wrap my yarn around. So I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna wrap it around 20 times. I'm gonna pinch it on there, and I'm gonna wrap. Put this on my lap. I think that's about 20 times. It doesn't have to be perfect. Snip that off and then I'm gonna carefully slide my yarn off. Mom or dad can help you with this part if it's tricky. And then I'm gonna have this little circle of yarn. Cut it. Mom and dad might have to help you with that part. And then now, that little guy came out. I'm gonna pinch it together like this. I'm gonna use this little piece that happened to fall out, or you could cut another one, to tie right about there, about a third of the way. I'm gonna tie it. Just like that. Okay, so now it won't come apart. And you have this little loop left at the top. And then I'm gonna get one more piece of yarn. This one's gonna be a little bit longer. Maybe about like as long as your arm. You're gonna loop it through, or push it through the loop. Just like that. Well, we can't have our tassel doing that, so we do need to tie it so it'll hold still. We're gonna give it a little tie. And there's your little tassel. 
Now you can attach it with tape or you can use a brad. If you're using a brad, you'll need to poke a little hole with a pencil right in the middle of your hat's top, like that. You can push the brad through and then it opens at the bottom, like that. Okay, and then we're going to attach it just by tying it in another little knot and you just measure how long you want your hat to be, your tassel to be. there and loop it on. This part can be tricky so have a grown-up help you with the tying if you're tying. Okay there you go. Good. You can also use just a piece of tape or two. Now that your tassel is on, you can attach the bowl. So you're gonna turn it upside down and then get some regular white glue or mom and dad can help you with hot glue. And then you're going to put lots of glue on, top, on the bottom of your bowl. Your bowl is upside down. Meow. And then put that right in the center of your upside down hat top. And then leave it to dry. That's it. I like to leave them upside down to dry like this because especially if you paint them, they tend to kind of curl on the ends. Boop, boop. So if you just let it rest upside down, it'll keep nice and flat. And then when it's all dry, you're ready to go. So you can bring your graduation hat to our little drive-in graduation next week. <laughs> and we'll take some fun pictures with you. All right, my little graduates, this is how you make a graduation mortarboard.